All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to say, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double line is being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do real well. Starting off with the Apostle Tahar on down, the true men of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai that have been laboring his truth for 30 plus years and still pushing so to this very day. All right. And a sincere shalom to all of you Akim out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, through the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. And, to, and today's lesson, you know, I'm going to talk about how the word is being pushed. All right. And, and, uh, and, and how we're seeing the results of the word being pushed. Okay. And when I say that, basically, you know, basically, you know, saying that how, you know, you have Israelites waking up across the four ones of the earth. Okay. But before I say anything else, you know, you have, you know, uh, the, uh, the hopefully elect waking up first and foremost. You know, he had, you know, our elders and their elders, and, you know, and those men got fruit. You know, now look at, you know, the the um, the brothers being woken up. OK, because, you know, our job out there when we're out there in the highways and byways is to first and foremost, you know, preach the word. And while we're preaching the word, it's so, you know, um, gain more laborers, you know, to uh, to bring in more elect men through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Because, you know, th this is all done by Yahweh Bashim al Shai just through us. Okay. And you have a lot of Israelites waking up across the forms of the earth. All right. You know, you have uh, celebrities waking up, you know, and, and we all know who they are. I don't, to, I don't have to name no names. We all know who they are. You know, celebrities waking up and, you know, and, and the reason why they're waking up is because why? Because of the prophets. Because of the prophets of Yahweh Bashim al Shai has told you. Either either you got told by a, a prophet of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, or either you came across a video, or you, or, or you uh, heard of, like, you know, from another person. Where the case may be, you know that you're an Israelite, all right, from your respective tribe. Okay? And how would you know? Because it's where it's being pushed, all right? But is it being pushed inside a building somewhere? Is it being pushed in a, a closed closet? No, it's being pushed in public, okay? Across the four minutes of the earth, okay? America, okay? Uh, uh, South America, North America, all right? London, okay? Uh, uh, Mexico, Canada, Australia, Sweden, okay? The list goes on, all right? And we're, and we're, uh, Going to continue to do that until the Lord says so. To, until the Lord deems for us to uh, to not do so anymore, because according to Scripture, it's going to come a famine of the word of hearing the words we have by small shy. Meaning that there's, there's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to, you know, tune in to what the prophets have to say, you know, on on YouTube. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, book. Let me get it real quick. And this is just, and this is just an open forum, so I'm just going, you know, going to spirit as usual, you know. This is the I'm starting off with the book of uh, Matthew 24 and verse 14. <clears throat> okay, Matthew 24 and 14, and it says, "And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations." And then shall the end come, right, man? This gospel, the gospel that is of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the good news, okay? Yahweh Bashim al Shai's doctrine that has been given down, you know, from on high, from, from the Lord to, to the elder apostles and down to us, you know, their, their fruit, you know, and, you know, and the rest of the Ankim, okay? The, you know, the good news of the kingdom coming soon, of our oppressor being destroyed. You know, of the society that we are, you know, that we're in captivity today being destroyed, you know, wherever we may be scattered. That's good news unto us, unto the Israelites. Okay. And it says, and then it shall the end come. Right, man, then shall the end come. Okay. Because this, this word is spiritually, okay, not currently, spiritually bringing down uh, uh, this society, this kingdom. Okay. Known as Babylon. Okay, aka America. All right, this uh, this kingdom is, is is falling slowly but surely. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, Habakkuk two and three says, "Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come. It will not tarry." All right. So prophecy is speaking, man. 
All right, and one of the prophecies that is in the scriptures, okay, is, is for Babylon to be thrown down. Okay, and that's not my words, just that's the words of of the most high of Yahweh by Shmau Shai, and that's according to the the Holy Bible, okay? Uh Matthew 24 and 14, and it says, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached, the right man shall be preached in all the world. Right? So you have uh, uh brothers, you have the Anakim across the across every uh, uh the whole globe, man. Okay. And why is that? Because of the internet, man. Because of the internet. All right, this word spreads, has been spread like a wildfire, man. Okay. You know, the YouTube, you know, whatever outlet, you know, you may use to watch videos, you know, but YouTube being the main platform. Okay, the internet, you know, this word has been spread everywhere, man. Okay. And you have a lot of Jake's knowing that they're Israelite. Okay, and that's because of the prophets. All right, through Yahweh Bashmal Shah, of course. Okay, now you have Jake on social media saying that, you know, uh, uh, saying, well, I'm going to say verbatim, saying that Jesus, you know, and we know his, his real name is Yahweh Shai, of course, but, you know, they're saying that Jesus was, was, was a black man, you know, they, they they know who Esau is and whatnot, you know, so Jake is waking up out here, man, and it's a beautiful thing, okay, that, that that's the sweet side of this truth, but the bitter, but it gets bitter, because not, you know, uh, not all Israel is, is going to be saved because you may know that you're an Israelite, but you uh, you're not going to you know be delivered. You know, you may know that you're an Israelite, but you may not be delivered unless you you know come back to Yahweh Shmuel Shai fully and make a 360, man, and repent to Yahweh Shmuel Shai with all sincerity and truth. Okay, and Lord willing, I'm part you know of the elect speaking as a man. Lord willing, I make it. Okay, because hey, it's scary, man. This truth is scary. All right, uh, let's keep going. It says, preach in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Right, man, unto all nations. Okay, so we're amongst all nations. Okay, we're warning uh, uh, Israel and also we're uh, also warning the heathens, the heathens as well. Okay, we're, we're preaching unto all nations because you have Jake scattered across every nation. You know, because pertaining to the curses, you have Bashmah Shai scattered us. Across all nations, so you may have some Israelite foreigners who may look like so-called Chinese men, so-called white men. Okay, and it says, "And then shall the end come." Right, the end of what? The end of the society, the end of our oppression. Okay, and that's why being that's uh, that's why being you know the gospel being pushed, you know. That's why the Lord said this. This uh, Saint Isaiah nineteen. And verse 19, it says, And that day shall there be an altar to the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai in the midst of Egypt. And the altar is going, talking about the camps. Okay? The camps. All right? You have a camp in New York, Connecticut. All right? Wherever. Okay? And it says, uh, In the midst of the land of Egypt. Now, that, now, that's, talking, now that's going in, into America. Okay? Because... In the book of Jeremiah two nine fifteen, it says that, but the Lord had, the Lord has sent a set of prophets in the land of Babylon, okay, and that's talking about America, man. So mainly, of course, you have prophets everywhere across, across the forms of the earth, but mainly you're gonna, but mainly the prophets are settled right here in America, Babylon, Egypt, okay, and the altars are the camps, and it says that day shall there be an altar, okay, the camps. To the Lord, Yahweh Shmuel Shai, in the midst of the land of Egypt, all right, and the pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, all right. Matter of fact, let me start. What well, was the point right there? And it says, right, you know, that was the point right there. Slock it, and it says, in the pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, all right. So, like I was saying earlier, man, you know, we're in Babylon pushing the word, all right. Jake is waking up. This word is spreading like a wildfire, man. And it's, and it's still, it's still, it's still going. This is a snowball effect. Okay. Everything is being, is being done. Three high by small shy, man. Everything is being, uh, 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 gradually coming into full effect, man. And that is prophecy. Okay. That is prophecy. All right. This is the book of. 
Where is it at? Ezekiel 37. And verse. Um, start at. I get to the point. Ezekiel 37 verse 10. And it says. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived. And stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Let's, let's go into that one more time. Ezekiel 37 and verse 10. So I have prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath, okay, came into them. And what's that breath? The right, the breath of life, the wisdom from Yahweh about Shema this, 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 uh, this light, this truth, this knowledge from on high, okay? The 100% truth. And it says, and they lived, right? They lived. And stood up and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. And that's talking about the brothers across the four winds of the earth. Right? The Ankim, the hopeful elect. Alright. And that army is not a carnal army, it's a spiritual army. Alright, the province of Yahweh about Shemal Shai. Alright, it says, and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. And that's why you have camps across the four winds of the earth. Alright? You you have altars everywhere, which are the camps. Okay. You have, you have brothers on, you know, your preaching his word, being a living sacrifice for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And now you have Jake waking up knowing that they're Israelites, but, but how did you find out? Through the prophets, man. Starting off, starting off with, our, with our elder apostles, all right? Hey, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, what's that term? Uh, a snowball effect, man. Okay, the, this, truth, this truth is getting bigger. It's, it's worldwide now, man. Okay, even the, even the, the the typical Jake, you know that's that that's 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 in the, the inner city being being a damn demon knows that he's an Israelite. Okay, you got Jake's, you know not 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 to sound like you no know, not to say it like that, but I'm just I'm just keep being plain, being straightforward. You have Israelites, you know, toting guns and still smoking, and 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 you know knowing that they're Israelites, man. Okay. But but you know they know that they're Israelites. But the, but some but the majority of them are gonna are just two thirds knowing that they're Israelites. Okay, yeah, people protesting in the in the the quote unquote Black Lives Matter protest, but that's that's all you know BS. Okay, they're protesting, and you have signs from Jake saying, uh, um, "Stop killing Israelites." So people know this word has gotten out, man. Okay, and and, that, and why is that? And that's because of the exceeding great army that has been set up by Yahweh by Shemal Shai for this word to be pushed out. Okay, because it says, "My word will not return unto me void." In the Book of Isaiah. Okay, the reason why America is falling, well, because the Lord ordained it. Okay, but also because the Lord has sent his prophets. Because because every time the the Lord is about to you know, uh uh uh, uh you take out a kingdom. You know, so to speak, the Lord sends his prophets, man, to warn the people. Okay. And right now the Lord has sent his prophets in the scene to, to prophesy about the downfall of, of this system of Babylon, man. Okay. And this place is fallen. This place is down the drain. This place is uh, done, finished, finito. All right. And, and we know we're seeing prophecy unfold and manifest in front of our eyes, man. Civil unrest. Okay, but it's only going to get uh, uh, hotter because scriptures say these are the beginning of sorrow, of sorrows, excuse me. Okay, let's get that one more time. So, so like it for the little rant. Ezekiel 37 verse uh, 10, it says, So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, right, that wisdom and knowledge. And it says, and they lived, right, man, they lived, okay, and stood, and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. All right, that's the elect, man. Okay, that that that's the men that's gonna fully get this truth. We're fully gonna put off the old man. You know, fully gonna you know uh, receive this knowledge. Okay, and that's a beautiful thing, man. You know, the elect, they they uh they they have been ordained to receive this word, and push it. You know, and and to ultimately be delivered. Okay. This is the book of, uh, where is it at? This is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 
chapter 1 and verse, oh, excuse me, not Proverbs, Romans, excuse me, Romans, Romans 10 and verse 16. And it says, I'm oh, sorry, 17, it says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, right, man, faith. The faith come by hearing. And how do you hear the word we have about Shemar Shai? Through the men, through the prophets, man, that are across the four winds of the earth, uh, the whole globe, across the nations. Okay? That's how you hear the word, man, through his men. You think the Most High is going to get off his throne, actually, and, and do the, push the work and push the word himself? No. Because that's why I said this in the book of Amos, real quick. Amos 3 and 7. We, we all know this one. Okay? It says... Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals secret unto the servants of the prophets, right? So you have Bashman Shai is not gonna do nothing because he he's he's the uh the the uh the true power, he's the uh the, the top notch boss. Okay, so he sends out the orders. He 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 gives sends out you know uh, uh the orders, all right, and, and uses things to get it done and uses us to get it done, all right. That's why he has angels. All right, that's why he has, you know, uh, 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 um, spirits to use, man. Okay, and he and he and he is using us, you know, uh, the Israelites, the uh, the hopeful elect, to push his word, all right, through us. All right, he's not doing that himself; he's doing that through us. Okay. Back in Romans ten and verse seventeen, it says, "So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai." Verse 18, but I say, have they not heard? Is verily the sign went into went into all the earth and the words unto the ends of the world. Right, man. And what's that? The words of the prophets. Okay. You know, uh, going out constantly, season in, season out. Okay. Preaching the word. All right. Day in and day out. Pre like whether, whether it be, you know, on the highways and byways or doing a live a live show okay you now you know whatever the case may be this word has been preached unto the ends of the earth okay and like i was saying earlier jake is waking up out here man all right you can't stop the truth okay you can't do nothing against the truth before it all right because if it, if it be of yahweh about shemal shai it shall prosper as it says in the book of acts all right uh, verse 19, but I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will, provo I, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah but Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he said, okay, but to Israel, and who's Israel? Who who does who who's uh, Israel consist of today? All right, they they are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, like Latinos, excuse me, and Native Americans and, and the Seminole Indians, man. Those those are the Israelites today, okay. And it says, uh, but to Israel he said, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient. To lock you for the interruption, all right. But this is the book of Romans 10 and verse 21. Uh, again, it says, But to Israel, he said, All day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gang sing people. Okay, and that's true. Israel, they are a stiff necked nation, man. Very, very disobedient and very, uh, very rebellious. Okay, and that's why they have got two thirds that are gonna perish on this side, but come back righteous in the kingdom through the elect. Okay, and the reason, and, and and the reason why, why uh uh, you know uh uh, why the Lord is uh, uh is stretching his hand out, you know, is using his prophets to get to Israel, because this is where the mercy lies at. All right, this is where the mercy is. You know, people go to church so called and, and call upon Jesus Christ and thinking that they're gonna you know receive mercy, but not. Nah, this is where you come back and, and repent. All right, of of your uh, of your, uh, your your sinful ways, all right, with with all sincerity and truth, and come back to the come back to your true power, Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and repent. All right, call upon him and and 
and pray that he that he has mercy on your soul, on you, on your household. Okay. Because through the prophet, this is where you this is where you how about Shema Shai, you know, is that man, you know, the words being pushed through the prophets. That's why you have uh, uh, prophets everywhere. Okay. Acro across the globe. All right. And it says, all, and it says all day long, I have stretched forth my hands, right? Who, who is the Lord's hand? The prophets, man. Okay. The Lord is using us to get to Israel. All right. And like I was saying, this word is, uh, has spread like a wildfire in the forest, man, in the wilderness. And it's only going to keep getting bigger. All right. It's, 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 it's getting bigger right now. Okay. And, and right now, we're seeing uh, a shift. All right. In, uh, in society right now, man. All right. And soon it's going to be uh, the, uh, the ultimate shift. When uh, this place, you know, uh, East Kingdom is thrown down, then once that happens, you're gonna have the uh, the commencement, the establishment of uh, of of the kingdom of Israel, man. All right, starting off that will be ruled, starting off with the, with the Shai, man, and the elect. Okay, and with that being said, I want to say, call law Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Lord as well, you brothers were edified through inspiring power Yahweh by Hashem Shai. That being said, shalom.